see the RPMs going up. See that? This is really cool. And I know that you could customize the gauges for the colors you want, for what I believe. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. What do you got right here? Nope, absolutely not. This is not my bike, even though this is a beautiful bike right here. This is Mike's bike from Tour Custom Cycles. He lent me his in the meantime. This is my loaner bike, you could say. My loaner bike while uh, my road glide was a uh, was a hit shop getting the um the stage two. I've had this bike here for a few days and I wanted to make this video just to point out a lot of the modifications that he's done to his bike very tastefully done and then we'll get on the road and uh, head over to the shop um, but we'll have a have a listener here because I don't remember everything that's on it but there's a few things that I kind of want to point out which one of my favorite things I put in the middle but going down the line right here we got the Rogue Riders headlight right here which looks pretty pretty cool I'll turn it on in a minute to show you guys we got the uh, Santoro Fabworks um, bars up here really nice We've got our last grips Dakota digital MLX gauges that's what I want to show you guys it's like one of my favorite things digital gauges right here you can see everything Dakota digital right there tire pressure um, your RPM is gonna be around this side um, your gas consumption um, your speed and what do you have you have your oil just your battery on there just uh just a bunch of stuff um it's really cool and it looks really really nice especially when it's dark out everything lights up really nice really like that so we'll get on the road we'll keep talking more about that right now but we'll keep going down this list right here we got the uh clockworks 11 sport flare windshield um with the clockworks trim right here that looks really nice we got the arlen s floorboards right here these things are nice man if you guys haven't seen these in person highly highly recommend these they look great the grip on them is really good and we got the um, the the rear brake right here as well the shifter for that looks really really cool we got legend suspension in the front and rear um i gotta tell you I love riding this bike because of the front suspension on there. You could really, it, it just really makes a huge difference. So yeah, I'm definitely doing that to my bike. Then we've got the uh, exposed reservoirs in the back right here. Like I said, ledges in front and rear. And then obviously we've got this crazy system, which he did. Um, he, he's known for his music work. So if you guys do want to get some music done to your bike, got tweeters right here. Got um, subs in the back. Open it up. It's nice and cut everything's clean on both bags we got those big subwoofers it looks good new speakers up for the front just the, the bike sounds crazy in person man sound digital 1600.1 push in to 210 inch mid bass drivers um 1200.4 push in front and rear speakers um yeah i don't i don't know when it, i don't know too much when it comes to music uh but we got the twisted eight lids in the back right here as well um then we got the hardly spoiler from the front right there color matched screaming eagle air cleaner right here that looks really nice then we got the harley davidson saddlebag guards right here those look really nice i'm actually a big fan of the harley um crash bars right there in the back i think they look really good then we got the harley luggage rack in the back and uh, then with the Chromeworks full system exhaust, same one that's on my bike. This one, obviously not in Chrome. It's that kind of like a Swartz Chrome. They call it the Eclipse 2 into 2. So pretty nice. Um, so this is stage one for now. He hasn't uh, done a stage two on it yet, but he's going to. Overall, clean build. Like I said, he's still not done with it. He's going to be doing a ton, a ton of other stuff on it. And... Um, Let's get on the road. I'll let you guys know how the bars feel. Santoro Fabworks bars. Um, and then I'll tell you about the more about the foot pegs and the gauges. So look, I'll just turn them off. I'll show you guys. As a matter of fact, let me plug in my phone. So I can listen to music after I shut the camera off. So we turn it on. Gauges. All up on there. Turn it on. Sounds really good. The exhaust, like I said, same exhaust that's on my bike. Let's talk about this bar setup real quick, right here. 
I'm not used to this bar setup because I, I like T-bars, so this would not be the bars that I put on my bike. But I gotta say, comfort-wise, they're okay. They are okay. I feel like they're a bit too spread out for me. I'm like all the way out here. I'm used to kind of like just being right here. But they feel good. It, it gives you a good feeling of handling the bike. So even when, when you're in corners, it kind of makes it feel like you can kind of throw the bike a bit more. So I do like that about it. As you can see here, see the RPMs going up. See that? This is really cool. And I know that you can customize the gauges for the colors you want, from what I believe. And the 11 inch sport flare, it feels great too. It stops a ton of wind. It feels good. It kind of makes you feel like you're in a bubble. And it just literally just goes right over your head, giving you that nice bubble protection that you want. But yeah, going back to the, the bars, to me, it's just a little bit too spread out, too wide. But they do feel good. And the suspension, man, <laughs> this is what kind of like sold me on the suspension because obviously I told you guys that I want to chrome out the front end of my bike. I already got all those parts to chrome it out. So he's like, listen, we're already going in there. Let's just put Legends front end suspension on it. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm sold on them yet. So he's like, just take my bike out while I have yours. And uh, you let me know what you think about it. And yeah, I was, I was pretty sold on it. So that's good. That's going to be the next upgrade. We're going to do Legends front end suspension on the bike. Suspension does a lot, man. A lot of people overlook suspension, and it's like one of the key factors that you need to have in your bike to either A, enjoy your ride, two, if you wanna be more of an aggressive rider and be able to kinda have more control of your bike. I forgot to show you guys uh, how the lights look on, so once we get to the shop, I'll show you that. Uh, but for right now, what do you guys think about Mike's build so far on this bike? What are some of your favorite mods that you've seen on here that you would do on yours or that you want or have been planning to do on yours? These RLNS floorboards, man, they feel great. The grip is definitely there. I like it that they're not crazy wide and they look super cool. I'm a huge fan of RLNS products. You guys know that on mine, I have the, um, uh, the RLNS gauge relocation system right here for my bar setup. Those things I absolutely love. I gotta ask him about the suspension though because this bike kind of feels, it doesn't seem as high as mine. I think mine might be taller. <laughs> yeah, I really do like the way this bike handles, man. It's crazy how it just makes it seem like it's a lighter bike when you're riding it. One thing I would definitely add on to this is heater grips. Because it looks like it's a beautiful day out here, which it is a beautiful day out here in Dirty Jersey. Sun's out, blue skies, clear skies, baby. But... It's only like 36 degrees out, so it's freezing. Yes, freezing. My hands are a little chilly right now, so if I had uh, my heater grips on my bike, I wouldn't be minding it as much. But it's all right, man. It's a close ride. We're almost there. And then once we get to the shop, we'll turn on my bike. I'll let you guys hear what it sounds like with uh, my new fueling cam installed in it. I'm super excited to ride that bike, man. Super excited. <laughs> 